is going on everybody? Ryan M Entertainment back for another video. This time we are here to do the honest trailers for Cars 1 and 2. I guess they're doing both in one video. So um I just saw Cars 3, I think the other day. It was great. To me, it was it was like one of the best Pixar movies. Maybe that's just to me. Then again, like don't don't take my word for it. It's whatever. Go see it yourself and give your own opinion. Whatever. I'm I'm not one of those people who goes and reads all the other online reviews and then judges it off that. I thought it was a great movie though. Um, I don't even know what the reviews for it were. Hopefully they were good because I really did enjoy it a lot. Um, but Cars One was one of my favorite movies. I remember going to see both Cars One and Two in the movie theaters. I was super young, but I do remember going to see both. And I remember Cars One being my jam for like. The time I was whatever, like seven, eight, I don't know what time it came, like right in that time frame. It it was it was it was a fantastic, fantastic movie to me. Just my opinion. Cars two, I don't know. They took the like the ra they still had the race and all, but it was more about Mater and all the spy stuff. I didn't like it as much. Uh, it wasn't as good. I don't think. Um, I mean, it was okay. I'm pretty sure it was one of the worst Pixar movies. But well, Cars 3 made up for it, so... Anyway, let's just get into these honest trailers for Cars 1 and 2. Um, but before we do, make sure you go check out all the links in the description to my gaming channel. This channel, which you I don't know why you haven't subscribed yet. If you love me, if you love this beautiful face, please subscribe. And um, also, I have a brand new channel with my girlfriend where we do challenges, pranks, and we're going to do different kind of reactions, I guess, to certain stuff that I wouldn't usually react to on here. Um... Other than that, uh, also my social media links are down there, Twitter and Instagram. Please go follow me on Instagram. God, it hurts not having it. Like, just, just please do. I don't, why, why not? Just, like, it, it doesn't hurt you to just go. Links in the description. Just, yeah, I know, it says show more down there. Show it. Show it all. Anyway, let's get right into it. Three, two, one, let's go. From the studio who brought you Ratatouille, Wally, -E, and Up, that was the movie that paid for all of them. <laughs> Toys. I mean, cars. Cruise into Radiator Springs, a town full of fun, friends, and adventure. Just don't ask where all the humans are because we're either extinct, murdered by our cars, or we merge with them to become some kind of unholy man-car hybrid. Hmm, probably shouldn't think too hard about that. That sounds awesome. Moving on. <coughs> Pixar built an empire out of beautiful, emotionally real, tightly potted masterpieces. And Cars is almost all of those things. As this above-average kids movie never reaches Pixar's highest highs. But it's better than people give it credit for. I mean, you know, it's not flawless. Lightning is kind of a jerk. Yeah, it looks yes. awful. Now it matches the rest of the town. The catchphrases are kind of, kind of annoying. Gotcha! Huh, I guess we really don't have that much to say about the first Cars movie. Can we just do Cars 2 instead? Oh, God. That's better. From the, the studio who brought you Ratatouille, Wally, -E, and Up, comes a tedious cash grab dumpster fire that's Pixar's worst movie by a long shot. Cars 2. You like Cars well enough, but since your kids loved it, Pixar's going full minions and making a sequel about the side character they can relate to. Because kids are dumb. This is your fault, parents. Why didn't you just buy them more Ratatouille merchandise? Oh. You remember Lightning, Sally, and the rest of the gang at Radiator Springs. Well, forget about them, because it's Mater's time to shine. It really was. It's been way too long with this annoying southern truck, played by non-southern comedian Daniel Whitney, who pretends to be a dumb hick named Larry the Cable Guy, who pretends to be this bucktooth truck version of Larry the Cable Guy. It's like a turducken of fake idiots pretending to be even bigger faker idiots. After Lightning's simple story of learning to slow down and appreciate life. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Get ready for a confusing plot about a car who creates an alternative fuel just to make alternative fuel look bad. 
but no amount of logic will stop Mater from visiting as many playsets and accessories as possible, no matter how many force misunderstandings it takes to get there. You know I'm just a tow truck, right? Right. And I'm just in the import-export business. He just told you he's not a spy. My line of work Funnily enough, in Cars job. 3, right. Mater wasn't really in it at all. I mean, he was there. Really? He had, he Again? Was in scenes with Kim, but he did not have, like, a single scene. Like, like a dedicated to him. Mater is there. I think he was in See, Cars 3. See, he's not a spy. I'm not a spy. I've been trying to tell you that the whole time. Why is no one listening to him? So buckle up for a movie responsible for some of Pixar's firsts, like their first sequel to stretch a thin comic relief character into a whole movie, first time they Aww. weren't nominated for a Best Animated Feature Oscar, and the first time they went full-blown rotten on Rotten Tomatoes, or as this moron would say, Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, do they even have tomatoes in Carl's World? I guess they must eat food, because they have those giant tongues. But it seems like all they do is just drink gas. Unless gas is their blood. Except Mater mistakes wasabi for ice cream, which means they have ice cream. But the cows in this universe are tractors. So do they, like, milk the tractors? Aww, is your car model stop. determine your species? Your class? Your ethnicity? Like, do cop cars have to be cops? Or can a race car be a janitor if he wants to? And how are cars born? This car is a mom. Stop thinking. Is right here. What's the difference between boy and girl cars? Do cars have sex? How? Are headlights boobs? Yes, yeah! We know that. cars die? If they keep replacing their parts, are they like immortal? There's a car pope, so is there Catholicism? What kind of car was Jesus? Sarge is a veteran, which means there were car wars. Was he in Karnam? What kind of car was Hitler? Is the engine the brain or the heart? Stop. What's the difference between a doctor and a mechanic? If they open their door, do all their guts fall out? Why do cars even have door handles in a world with no humans driving them? Except this car has eyes in her headlights and a steering wheel and seats. Oh, jeez. They did kill us all. They just evolved and covered it all up. Damn you, dirty brakes. Damn you all to hell. Oh, wow. I got really sidetracked there. That was a lot. Where was I again? <laughs> oh, yeah. Story. Cars. Money. 199 laps and maybe it all comes down to this. Man, NASCAR is really boring. Despite the negative press, Kofefe, the sun is a deadly laser. Licking doorknobs is illegal on other planets. Use the Force Katniss to save Hogwarts from the Daleks. They call me Mr. Pig. <laughs> Oh man, that was funny, especially when he went into the whole car. There was actually some of those questions that I that I asked during Cars Three. I whispered over to my girlfriend. I was like, "How, how do they have sex?" Because uh, I think there was a kid. I don't remember whose kid it was. Um. Anyway, moving on. It was hilarious. Um. As usually, all the honest trailers are. Um. Of course, go check out the original video. I wouldn't have a video to make if there wasn't the original video. So other than that. Make sure you absolutely wreck that like and subscribe button one more time. And uh, thanks everybody so much for watching. Peace out. Have a good day.